Hey, how's it going? I have a one, two, three, four, five package mail day here. This is a couple weeks worth of mail. I have been really busy at work. Haven't had any chance to do any card related stuff. So these have been stacking for a little while. Let's see what I got. All right, this first one I believe I won online. That's cool. Wasn't this card here. It looks like an extra. Nice Julio. Nice Gavin Lux foil. Boom, this James Outman was the one I won. Awesome, that's cool. Uh, James Outman, new prospect for the Dodgers. Not really. I mean, he played a little bit last year, so it's not like he's making his debut now. But um, first game, hit a homer. Pretty awesome. And I love that this is 88 design. I mean, I hate this design because it reminds me of when I... Of way too many cards that I have as a kid, but uh, it still throws me back. But there's something about 88 where I'm just like, bleh, just really not my favorite design in the whole world. There's Kershaw there too, Freddie Freeman. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's because I just, that's when like a year I went super crazy with baseball cards. I think most of us did if you were alive back then. That's when we all thought we had stocks in our hands, baseball players. So we all have a lot of 88. And you can see right here, what's that? This one I bought off of a Dodgers group, Facebook. Somebody was selling some cards for 20 bucks. And I was like, oh, let me take a look. Saw some Puig cards there, which you all used to know if you watch me. I used to collect a lot of Puig. Not really searching for him a lot, or at all, actually, of course. But he had these for sale for 20 bucks, and I was like, hey, why not? Puig Relic 35 of 35 from Topps Museum Collection. This manufactured bat knob, commemorative bat knob. Wasn't really interested in this as much. I'm not into manufactured stuff as much, but I was interested in this. It is a cool booklet. Oh man, it's gonna be a little tough to get out of here, I think. I don't care for the top loader, it's garbage anyway. So, 625, I really was going for it for this. It's pretty cool. Nice patch there, Puig. So, 20 bucks, not bad. Nobody's gonna buy these for 20 bucks other than me. 2014 Panini, so I think this is rookie year, right? 2014? Does it say rookie anywhere? It's pretty cool. So yeah, nobody's gonna buy these other than me, but that's all good. And if Puig will ever make it back to the MLB, I know he was trying to get back this year. Had some success, I think, in the Korean leagues. KBO. All right, and I think now we're on the group breaks. Yep, this one's from Underground Breaks, Bradley. Go check him out. Good breaker. Let him know Chris G sent ya. Or KG Sports Cards. I don't know if he knows about KG Sports Cards at all or not, but mention Chris G if you go over there. Alright, so here's some group break stuff. Let's see what I got here. Oh yeah, in, this is uh, Leaf in the Game cards. Forgot about this. You know, Leaf in the Game had a huge release, in my opinion. Like, saw a lot of people ripping this. A lot of great cards in here. And uh, I think it's a big success for Leaf. They haven't had a huge success kind of in a while, in my opinion. Cool. Nice little thing there. They also do have a podcast. So here's what I got from Leaf in the Game. Uh, it was a serial number break, which I don't like and I don't partake in very often. But because I missed the boat on most of the breaks on these, I decided to go for it. So let's see, I think I was number zero. Yeah, I was number zero, which is one of the hardest to hit, it seems like. Um, second number and the first number is zero, so if it was 20 or 10, I would get it. So this is probably the coolest card right here. One of the two. Legendary Locker Room, has Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Ichiro, Mike Piazza, 
Man Manningly and Henderson. So there's that card. That one's pretty awesome. Can't see the numbering on here. There it is, 40 of 45, top right. And a Manningly Relic, 20 of 35. Also very thick cards. And then this one's pretty awesome. Legendary, the Legendary 200. Roy Campanella, Guy Lafleur, Pete Rose, King Griffey Jr., Carl Malone, Peyton Manning, Shaquille O'Neal, and Barry Bonds, 10 of 25. It's pretty cool. They have some really nasty relics in this set. Um, if I could find a box, I might rip one. I usually like to rip Leaf, but I haven't been looking. I haven't I've been very busy at work again, so I haven't had the chance. Um, what is this one from? This one's from Hitman Breaks. Oh yeah, that's right. They did a uh, rebox or was it repack product with full of uh, um, vintage cards. So it's like ten vintage cards. Oh man, how am I gonna get in here? Ten vintage cards per box, and I hit one, and I was stoked. And that was a nice repack, repack product. They do love vintage. There's some nice top hits in there too. And I ended up getting uh, not one of the top ones, but still a really nice card. Oh, this is great. I shipped it with like a balsa wood or something. Look at that on the back. Noel and Ryan. Pretty sweet. 75 tops. Night. Noel and Ryan. PSA 6. A little off centered there, as you can see, but a beautiful card. Definitely don't have this in the collection. Especially at a PSA 6. Nice quality there. Beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah, so I was stoked to get this card. Not worth a whole lot. I think maybe 75 bucks or so. I think the uh, price I paid ended up breaking even, so that was good. Plus, can't go wrong with a vintage Nolan Ryan card. No, no, you cannot. This one is from Roto Breaks. From Dave over at Roto Breaks. Mixer, I believe. And guess who I got again? The Twins. For some reason, I'm always getting the Twins lately. Uh, and there is Sapphire in here, which is why I went for it. And I'll just go through some of these. This is actually the first time I've seen these cards, this year's cards, up front and personal. These are kind of cool looking. Nice. Reminds me of uh, MLB The Show. A little bit. All right, Trevor Larnock, foil. And here's the Sapphires. Alcala, Sonny Gray. Cole Sands, Miranda. Royce Lewis, rookie. Rookie debut. I think this is from Update. Royce Lewis, rookie. And then a uh, Joe Maurer. Yeah, I ended up getting a Joe Maurer from the... 2023 tops, I believe. Major League material. Good old Joey M. Still making appearances. Number 8 of 50. So there you go. There is my mail day. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. If you stuck it this far, I give you 10 points. Alright, let me know if you got 10 points. Alright, catch you later. Bye.